insert the USB with the pattern loaded into the hub on the back of the tablet. The tablet will display a screen with a folder and a green check. If you select the folder, it will take you to the pattern screen, but only if you have a quilt area set. So I recommend just selecting the green check and going to the import export screen manually. Make sure that you have a quilt area set and then select patterns. Then from the tabs on the left, select import slash export. From this screen, you can import, export, or backup and restore patterns. We will go over the bottom two sections in another video. First, select the source you want to import from, USB or internal. For now, make sure that the USB is selected with the black dot to the right. Before you import the pattern, you can set a tag. Setting a tag will make the pattern you import appear under that tag. The tag that you select will determine where you find your pattern here. If you would like to change the tag, select the box that says Import, then tap the name of the tag you wish to attribute to the pattern. When you have selected a name, select the green check mark. However, I don't want to specify a tag right now. We can do that later, and we will go over how to do that in the tag video. So, I am just going to hit the red X to go back. I could also add a new tag and import my pattern under that tag by selecting Add New Tag and entering the tag name. After you have selected the tag that you want, in my case the default imported, select Import. This screen will only display the pattern files and the folders that you have loaded on the USB drive. This makes locating pattern files easy. It is important to know that when you select a folder, it will only open if there are readable pattern files inside. If I select a folder without a readable file, it will highlight orange, but nothing will appear. Select the pattern file and it will highlight orange. Then select the green check mark to import. You will then get a prompt that says import finished. Select the green check mark to continue. Now when you go to select the pattern, you will find it under the tag that you have set. In my case, where I put it under the import tag, I will find it in the import section. You can also select more than one pattern at a time when you want to import. If you select more than one, you will see that they all highlight orange. And when you select the green check mark, all of the patterns will import. Note that all of the patterns will show up under the same tag. So if you want different tags, you'll have to set them later. Thank you for watching this video on how to import from a USB drive. We will cover how to import from the tablet's internal memory in the next video. Enjoy using this feature.